Hey YouTube, what's up? And today I'll be showing you Google Chrome inside Parallels. I'm uh, really excited that they finally added support for this because before it's not been possible to put Google Chrome in Parallels in general. So what you're going to do is, is when you install it, you're going to get this window. And uh, basically to install it, you're going to go up here and hit File, and hit Download Google Chrome OS, or Download Chrome OS, basically. If you click that, it will download it for you and install it, and that's all you're going to have to do. So now I'm just going to hit Start. It's going to start up Chrome OS right here. I can close out this window now. And here's just Chrome OS. And it doesn't take very long to boot up, and here it is. And give me one second for me to put in my information. Okay, I'm back, and here's basically Chrome OS. And what's kind of interesting is when you actually log in, if you've already been in it, it actually will start up what you actually left behind. So I'm guessing this is going to be a feature, say, you have this on your netbook, you go to somebody else's netbook, you log in, you'll get exactly the same stuff. And basically, here I am. It's basically Google Chrome for, you know, say, the PC running in its own little operating system. So uh, you can easily drag these around. You can't drag them out, obviously. And basically, it behaves just like Google Chrome. So I know this is kind of cheesy. I'm going to go to Apple.com, obviously. It's going to load it up. It, and this automatically will connect you to the Internet and everything will work. And if you will notice, you know, while it's loading up, if it will load up, hopefully my Internet hasn't quit. But uh, you can kind of tell it's kind of proportionate, proportionate for, say, a laptop screen. That's not going to go. But, uh, you know, everything's a bit smaller in the actual OS, and you can tell it's kind of made for smaller screens. So, it's kind of interesting. But, uh, let me try searching something here. Uh, or, Amazon, that was a good one. And basically, you know, it works just like you would think. You know, like I said, dragging around, if I don't want this anymore, I'll close it. What is kind of interesting is the Flash and the HTML really don't work that well. So, um, I'm going to pull out YouTube here. And here's basically my YouTube client, and, or YouTube in general. And if you notice, it's very different than what you'll see on, say, your PC. You know, if I actually go to my YouTube channel, which I really recommend you check out, you check out, subscribe. It looks a bit different, not much, but say I actually click on a video. This is Car Mania, or I actually go to the YouTube page. It looks really strange, it looks a bit different, and the video won't load right. It goes twice as fast, and it can't buffer very well. And I guess this is what the look YouTube wants, I guess, for smaller screens, I'm not sure. But this is basically what it's going to look like, I guess. You got your description down here, your views right here. And I guess information about who, who's even looked at, that's nice. And, um, so let me, oops. Let me go back. I don't know how the heck I did that. Let me see if it plays in here. I know it won't. Oh, it's there. Here, it's not going to play. I have my sound turned on. It's actually showing. It's actually kind of getting sound, but it's not playing it. So that's obviously a bug in Chrome OS. So obviously, you're not going to be using this as your daily driver. So let's do House. I love House. Let's see if it'll load up Hulu. Because I haven't actually tried this, so it'll be an experience for both of us. But the flash really doesn't work. It's kind of like the Mac beta. It really doesn't work that well. And, um, that might actually do it. You're not getting any sound, which looks like you're actually getting video. But it looks like it's going a bit fast, just like the YouTube video did. Not sure. Yeah. See, that's not near as, it's going way fast. So, anyway, let's check out these settings here real quick. And if I go to this right here, it's right here, yeah. Everything's really small. I doubt this is going to be in the final release. It'll probably look a lot nicer. If I hit options, hit these options of you know, what you can do. Kind of small, really hard to read. You can go to full screen and it still looks this bad. I'm hoping they'll change this before the final release. Let's go in here to this little menu here. And this is actually what you'll go to. to get to, you know, say your bookmarks or your shortcuts. And they've got like chess in here. You can play online chess, which is kind of fun. And I'll do beginner, and me and this guy will play. And 
So basically, you know, this is what you would do. I'm going to take that piece, and he's going to take me. But anyway, close that out again. Let's go back into something else. And what's kind of interesting is stuff like this. Oops. Say the calculator. It lives up in this little bitty window. It's not like its own window in Chrome OS itself. And it actually is kind of like an onboard calculator. Or, you know, whatever. Make it the plus. Or something like that. And it, and it actually in real time changes that number. Which is kind of neat. I've seen that really done before. Oops. And it stays down there. I guess you can move that wherever you want. Say you have multiple ones. It's calendar panels. I saw that. I guess these are your panels. I see that's another panel. I don't want that right now. I'm going to click out over here. It's not looking like it's going to minimize like this one did. Oh, you, you double click and that minimizes. So that's kind of neat. Let's uh, let's do list panel now. And there's your Google to do lists. And that's really neat. So, uh, anyway, kind of impressive the way that they have done this. But yet, I'm really kind of curious to see how it handles pictures, how it handles video, and what the final release will look like. And hopefully, they'll be able to get a release that'll actually work on the Macs. That way, you know, us Mac users can give this a good test. So, anyway, YouTube, uh, real quick. Let me show you. To, to shut this down, you'll go down here and you'll hit shut down. Because that, that was one of my questions too. There's not a shut down button in the OS. So, there you go. Anyway, YouTube, you have a great day. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.